Good morning, today is June 14, 2010, and this is Hurricane Cities with an update on your tropical weather. Invest 92L, which may become a tropical depression today. I continue to monitor an area of low pressure labeled Invest 92L, which is located 1,050 miles west-southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. It has become better organized over the last 12 to 18 hours, and the cloud signature is becoming much more of a typical tropical depression. Satellite imagery is showing that convection has intensified overnight and a ball of convection observed is indicative of a strengthening system. Based on the satellite presentation alone, I suspect that Invest 92L will be upgraded to a tropical depression later this morning or at the very latest this afternoon. It is also not out of the question that the system may become a tropical storm and named Alex by the, this time tomorrow morning. I expect the Invest 92L will be continued to track to the west northwest at a forward speed about 15 miles per hour today through Tuesday. After that, 92L may bend back a bit towards the west by the middle of this week. I'm leaning towards the tracks of the TVCN and the TVCC dynamic model tracks which ultimately carries the system into the Leeward Islands by this weekend. Environmental conditions are forecast to remain favorable for development and intensification from today through Tuesday. After that, wind shear values are forecast to increase 20 to 30 knots during the middle to last part of this week. Based on this, I expect the system will be upgraded to a tropical depression later this morning or maybe a tropical storm and named Alex by tomorrow morning. Weeding seems likely later this week as hostile wind shear values affect the system. All interests along the Leeward and Windward Islands should keep close tabs of the progress of Invest 92L. Another strong tropical wave has just emerged off the African coast. This disturbance has the potential to, to also develop in the next few days and it will be monitored very closely. It should be noted that the tropical African train will continue for the next week to 10 days. After that, it appears that we'll have a break of the African train for two to three weeks. Then after that, the train from Africa will come back in mid-July and will maybe go game busters at that point in terms of named storms. We'll keep you posted. We'll have the next update in the tropical discussion tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. Thanks for choosing Hurricane Cities. Have a great morning.